Sometimes you as a writer or maybe the production departments need an overview of certain script information to plan the shoot. For example, they might need a list of all the locations that are needed in the movie. For obvious reasons, it's not practical to go through the script and do a manual count. So Final Draft 11 gives you a variety of different reports that you can use to get a better overview or a summary of some sort of certain script elements. Let's have a look at what kinds of reports you can export from Final Draft 11. Scene Report As the name suggests, the scene report gives you a list of all your scenes. You can choose to order them either in script order, that's order of appearance, alphabetical order, the shortest scene first, or the longest scene first. Choose a font that you want to use for this report. The scene report exports the following information. Scene number, if available, page number, length of the scene in eighths, and number of times a character appears. Location report. The location report gives you a list with additional information of your locations. You can choose to order after script order, that shows you which location appears on which script page, alphabetical order, that shows you where on which page each location appears as an exterior or an interior location, most occurrences, least occurrences, scene intro, that gives you all exterior locations, all interior locations and all other locations, or after time of day. This sorts your locations after day, night or other time of day specifiers. Character report. To export a character report for a certain character, choose one of the characters first, then select or deselect if you want scene headings, dialogue and or arc beats displayed. Change the font if you like to. This report then shows you the scenes of this character with the corresponding lines and if this character has monologues of more than a hundred words. Cast report. The cast report gives you statistics about each of your characters. Numbers of scenes with lines, without lines, appearances and how many dialogue this character has. Script report. The script report function lets you basically export a script, but you can choose which of the elements you want to export. If you were to export all the script elements, you'd basically get a normal script export, so to speak, apart from the header and the footer. So you could, for example, choose to export a script version with or without camera shots or transitions or with or without any other script element. You can also choose whether you want to export this as a script document with the usual screenplay formatting or as a regular text document. So if you choose text document, Final Draft 11 will export all the elements flush left. Script note report. The script note report lets you export your notes in case you want to have them in a separate document. Again, you can choose the order in which you want Final Draft 11 to export the information. Script order, name of the script note, script note type, scene number, if available, page, date created, and date modified. Final Draft 11 then creates an overview of all the notes, including all the information you select or deselect above. You can also choose to include certain script note types while excluding others. Statistics report. The statistics report gives you general statistics about your whole script. You can choose to include or exclude character statistics, scene statistics, and profanity statistics. What you get is a statistical overview of how often you've used certain script elements, how many scenes each character has, how often they speak, who they interact with, and so on and so forth. And Final Draft 11 will list all the swear words and profanity you use in your script and give you statistics on that too.